Well, hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another fashion video. So in today's video what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at how we can style a hoodie whether that is for our Zoom meeting calls or if it's for going out to the shops or if it's just a casual Sunday. Last month I have invested in three hoodies but one hoodie in particular which I've thoroughly invested in is my Jacquemus hoodie. I'm just going to show you a couple of tricks and tips on how to style a hoodie whilst we're in lockdown, whether it's for a Zoom call, a family quiz time, or just popping out to the shop. If you are new and this is the first time your eyes are gracing my presence, then please do stick around. If you like lifestyle, fashion, styling, any of the three, then please do hit that subscribe button and give this video a lovely like. And also in the comment section, you will find links to my social media pages and I will be extremely grateful if you followed me on Instagram, Twitter, or my blog account. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video and let's see how we can style these hoodies. <laughs> might be aware that I am in that transition period now of turning my wardrobe into an essential piece wardrobe and that means investing in investment pieces, timeless pieces, things that won't go out of fashion, things which you can elevate very easily. So not so long ago I invested in a Jacquemus hoodie. Now this is a simple plain grey hoodie but of course, relating that into a bit more of an investment piece, I did go a little bit up market with the hoodie. Now, I knew that I would be living in this hoodie and I would be utilizing it and, and elevating this hoodie as much as I can. So let's get into the first look. So the first look we have is a bit of a Sunday relaxed look. A standard pair of jeans. These are actually some cropped jeans from Arcare. It is a size 30, I believe. Um, they do come up quite tight, but they do fit me quite well. And they are probably the only jeans that I actually own, which fit me to an absolute core. I do have to breathe all the oxygen out of my body to fit into these jeans. You know what? Fashion is pain. And of course, pairing them with some lovely vasures. Now these vasures I've had for absolute years. Um, and just a standard white sock and say, I really enjoy them because I start dancing in them. An Arcare crew neck. Top, as you know, I love a crew neck. <laughs> uh, it's also a popping out to the shops outfit. But of course you've got the gray Jacquemus hoodie, which is the main aspect of this outfit. But I wouldn't really necessarily say that this outfit is unique or it's out there because it just seems a little bit of a standard outfit really. But to give it a bit more of a unique twist, I tend to add a nice little scarf around it. By doing this, it completely transforms the outfit. So you could actually adopt this down Sunday, Saturday outfit into a little bit more of a class outfit. Are you going to an art gallery when they open? Or maybe popping out for lunch or something. It really sort of gives it a little bit more of a unique twist. And I bought this Arquette scarf probably about two years ago now. It's a complete square scarf. It's got all polka dots all over it. It elevates it a lot more by just taking a simple scarf and putting it around a, a hoodie it really elevates it. And it creates that sort of je ne sais quoi. Look at me learning my French. Boo! <laughs> Now, many of us might know that I really like layering. I absolutely adore layering. I've already created a base layer, so a very easy layer for anything to go over it. So it's a standard blue turtleneck. We all know how I like my turtlenecks. With a navy pair of pleated chinos from Cos. It's a lovely base layer, so you could eat, you could put anything over the top of this. You could put a hoodie, you could put a cardigan. You're very smart, but also quite cash. So you could wear this if you were going around friends' house, or you could wear this to work, no matter what. The grey hoodie, straight on top of it, and it just gives it that little bit more of a, it's sort of a bit more of a classic vibe. So you've got the navy undertone, you've got a grey jumper, which goes absolutely perfectly, still correlates with the shoes as well as the socks. A really nice, mature, cosy outfit. I mean, I say mature, and then I start dancing like that. Give it a little bit more of a street vibe. I've paired it with this black bag from Cos. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I can't fit a lot in it. I can fit my phone, I can fit a few cards in there, and probably one AirPod. A little bit more of a street style vibe. It's a very easy outfit which anyone can really wear. And especially with the temperatures going as low as they are at the moment, 
double jumper in is a plus. Then sticking with the navy chinos, I've put a oversized shirt on, um, a striped navy and white shirt from Collusion. Collusion? Collusion? Collusion. I love the fact that it's an oversized shirt, it still comes out of the shirt and it hangs down and everything. I love that because there is nothing worse than having a short hoodie and, and having it all the way up here. I'm just like, no, I can't do it. But I think it really looks nice because of the white in the shirt really correlates with the gray in the hoodie, as well as the, well, you know, the, the navy chinos from Cos are just an absolute godsend. All I've literally done is flipped on a blazer over the top of it and it just gives it that sort of formal smart look. I'm loving it. I'm loving the fact that it's green. It's a completely different color that I'm wearing, but it all still goes together. I love the fact that it looks like I've literally just come out of the office. So I've been working for a media company and I've just popped out to go and get a coffee. I just love the vibe of the whole entire outfit really. And this is something which you can easily do at home if you're on a Zoom call or you just want to look that little bit more formal, but still have an essence of working from home and feeling a lot more cosier. This Arquette green blazer. Now I've had this blazer since August last year. I bought it for my birthday to celebrate my 22nd. I know, I'm 22. And luckily for you, but not for me, it's gone into the sale. Now the last outfit. There's a lot to this outfit. So you've got, there's a lot of sections to this outfit. So of course, at the bottom, you've got the standard Vasia trainers, which are featured in every single clip. The navy cost chinos with the pleat at the front, which gives it a little bit more of a formal feel. And then we've also got the bottom part of the shirt. So this is sort of like a cape. We've got sort of layers, layers like onions. Onions have layers. Um, cake, everybody loves cake. I'm going mad. We have the hoodie, the grey hoodie. So that really flows, especially with the white stripe in the shirt. And of course, when we go up to the top, we've got the turtleneck as well. So that sort of gives it a little bit more warmth to the outfit. Wear this on a Sunday. You could wear this in a Zoom call with work. You could wear this popping out to the shop. You could go and grab a coffee. You could go on your one hour walk of exercise with this look. It, you can utilize this look as much as you want to. <laughs> So guys, thank you so much for joining. I hope you really enjoyed that video. Remember to please subscribe, like, and also comment on this video. If you've got this far, please put a lovely little gray love heart in the comment section below so I know that you've been following throughout it. I cannot wait to start creating even more content for you guys and creating a community. Please feel free to check out all of my latest videos as well, which are listed somewhere on the screen, as well as a cute little picture of myself where you can subscribe to my channel. But until next week, guys, see you soon, stay safe and stay out of trouble.